Hello guys, welcome to the second iteration of um, Render Tip Tuesdays. I'm Daniel and today we are going to take a look at some of those uh, matte and rough textures or materials that you might have. And uh, since we have uh, Halloween coming up, this is a little bit of a more a black setup, a render set, setup that we have here. I have opened um, two renders in Photoshop right now, and they're both rendered with the same amount of samples. So I think I rendered it with uh, about 50 samples each. But if I zoom in here, let's take a look at those reflections with one of those renders. So if I have the first render on here, you can see in those reflections that they are really grainy, even though they're rendered in um, with about 50 um, samples. If I switch back to the other render I have here, these reflections are much smoother and much um, less grainy, much more refined than, than the other one that we have. But have in mind that both of, of these uh, renders are, are rendered with the same amount of samples. So also in on the side of this um, flask, we can see the same thing happening here. If I take a look at the first one, this is really grainy. And if I switch back to the other one, this is much more smooth, much more matte. And this is what uh, I wanted to talk about. Basically, the difference between a matte finish and a roughness. So let's jump into Keyshot and take a look at our um, setup here. I've set up a little bit of a difference, much more simple to illustrate the point, but it's much more easy to uh, see it in this, in this example here. So what we have here is um, three elements in this scene. So one, one sphere, one rectangle, and a floor, a ground. The sphere, I added a aluminum texture. On the rectangle here, I have a solid glass um, texture or material. And on the ground, we have a hard, rough plastic. All of them are just the basic um, materials that you find in the material uh, finder here on the left side. I just applied them to those three objects. So a few things are happening currently. We have this floor, which is a little bit grainy. I want to have a roughness of about um, 0 0.2 so that I don't have any reflections. I, I only have the shadow uh, casting onto the ground, but it gives a little bit of a grounding here. Um, the second thing with the glass, I want it to be really reflective, but also I don't want it to be 100% reflective because that would also don't um, correspond with reality. Um, there is no such thing as a completely reflective material. Maybe, um, maybe there is uh, mirror finishes in this case. Um, this could be, for example, a screen of an of a phone uh, model that you might you might have. So this wouldn't be a hundred percent glossy. So we also want to have um, some sort of roughness on this um, block here. And then on the last part is the sphere where we have a rough aluminum texture and here the reference is 0 0.1 but as you can see you have these graining happen and this is what i talked about with the first image example that i showed you so this grain i actually don't want and i can't really change it currently so this is where we get into some advanced settings inside those materials so for example if i click on this plastic material of the floor I might have want to have this roughness of 0 0.2 or maybe even more because I want I don't want any reflections I only want the shadow but also I want to get rid of this graining happening and I can't I can't do anything about this here in this plastic material that's why I want to switch to a paint material as you can see currently we even have more graining happening but we can easily change this by clicking onto this arrow next to the roughness setting and changing the samples. Here it's about nine, and this means the material roughness is sampled only nine times, but we can change it to, let's say a hundred. And you can immediately see the difference in the 
material. We have much less grain going on. And if we let it render, let's take a look at the head up display. So if we let it render for, let's say 60, 50, 60 um, samples in our viewport, we can see that the grain is almost completely gone. So, so the same thing we can also change in this metal material. So we have an aluminum rough material, but we can change this roughness sample setting here as well. In this case, the standard, the standard number is 16. We can also change this to, let's say, about 50. And if we let it render through, you can see those, this grain is going to be much smoother. And if we take it up to 100, this is going to look a lot smoother and more matte instead of a rough finish. This is how I go about doing a matte finish on some of those textures. And if you really want to have a rough um, finish, you can actually go into the textures and choose a noise bump map here. So for example, here, if you go to, sorry, not fractal noise, but texture noise, you can add a small, uh, small scale noise onto this metal sphere. And you can see this is going to give you a much more realistic rough um, finish on your, on your material. So lastly, we're going to take a look at this glass material. And um, as I mentioned before, no glass material is going to get, give you this 100% reflection. So I want to change this roughness and I'm going to change it to a really, really low value. So for example, here 0 0.002. Let's see how this looks. As you can see, we get a little bit of a blur happening here. The same thing is true also with this glass material. If we open up this advanced settings, you can see the samples is the samples are at 16. And we we're going to bump that up a little bit. And if we change the roughness to maybe let's say 0 0.005, we're going to get a much, much more softer look in those reflections, which is something that I want and I'm going for in this case. So that's it for this week. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more videos every week. Bye.